What an adventure! <laughs> I am on my first ever road trip by myself. Look at me go! I am going to Disney World! I feel like one of those people that's like, I'm going to Disney World! Like one of those sports people, right? Don't they say that? I'm gonna be filming two videos there. One at a certain Disney park, which might already be out at this point. It was Magic Kingdom. You probably saw it. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, go and check it out. So basically, I am eating at Magic Kingdom for a day, and I am eating at a Disney resort for a day as well, for 24 hours, you know. So it's gonna be like a two-part series. This is probably the second part. Um, in this video, I will be reviewing the Disney Resort and all of its food and the amenities and everything. I am staying at the Pop Century Resort. Now this Disney Resort is one of their cheaper ones. It's like a budget one even though it's still pretty pricey. But the good thing is even though it's budget, they still have food. So I will be eating there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I am staying there for three nights. So I'm... <laughs> This is going to be like a long kind of three day video, but I'm only going to be eating the food at the resort for one of the days. Now let's talk about the price. So like I said, this is one of Disney World's cheaper resorts. Each night was still $210. Okay. So that is the price of a higher end normal hotel, I feel. Well, like not like super high end, but like a nice normal hotel, right? But for Disney, this is one of the most affordable places they have, which is kind of crazy. Now, because I'm an annual pass holder, brand new one love that for me. I got the annual pass holder discount. So they took $50 off a night. And so I only paid $160.50 per night. I feel like that's a great deal, honestly. Mickey said, here's a bargain for you, you little queen. Eat it up. And I said, thank you, rat. <laughs> this is the Pop Century Resort logo. Love that. Very cute. I think it's very like Disney cartoon themed, which I love all the Disney classics. So I'm so pumped to see all the decorations and the vibes. And I just want to spin around like Snow White throughout the whole resort. <laughs> Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that for the three-day stay, I was charged around $60 for taxes and fees. So just be aware of those little extra costs. Well, not little, but you know what I mean. Okay, just be aware. Also, guys, get this. Disney is a really high tech. Okay, this is not sponsored at all, by the way. Um, but basically, I was able to check in through the app, and they're going to let me know when my room is ready, and then I can just use my phone or my magic band to get into the room as like a key. So that is super futuristic. That's like, am I on a spaceship? Is this actually 2092? Like what year are we in? So I think that's gonna be super fun, but I am gonna still have to go to the front desk afterwards and ask about parking. Cause I don't know if it's free. I don't want my car to get towed for some reason, you know? So um, I will still be going to the front desk, but I'm just super excited. I feel so independent driving all the way there on my own. Um, I am currently halfway to Orlando. I'm at one of the service plaza type places, which are super magical, guys. Service plazas have this vibe. It's like, you're going somewhere. You're, you're on a journey. You know, I feel like Frodo with his heavy ring carrying the light to Mordor. But I get to stop here at this nice place and eat and relax. And I am having lunch here. So I will um, show you guys what I get and, and do like a little mini taste test maybe. Um, so anyways, enough talking. Before we start, guys, subscribe if you're new here. I travel now. I review hotels, amusement parks, fast food items. It's a great time here. It's all based around food though. It would mean the world to me if you could thumbs up this video and the Magic Kingdom one. That be amazing because these travel videos and like hotel videos do cost me more money than my other videos so I just need the support extra on these ones so if you can thumbs it up that would be amazing another good thing about these service plazas is they have car chargers and I have an electric car that's the one bad thing about electric cars you have to like stop and like charge them for like an hour so i'm gonna charge mine right now but it's totally fine because i'm gonna have lunch and relax a bit so it's gonna be a lot of fun so it's actually only gonna take about 45 minutes not an hour so that's good let's go find something to eat let's see what they have um i think they have an earl of sandwich which i don't think i've ever had and i just want to know who earl is Who's Daddy Earl? By the way, I might be showing you this in my Magic Kingdom video too, but I um, tried to paint my nails like all like Disney themed. I did blue with these like chunky glitter pieces and it's just giving that 90s VHS Disney blue logo that came on before all the movies. We have a Dunkin'. 
We have an Earl of Sandwich. We have an Auntie Anne's Chicken Kitchen, Wendy's, and Villa Italian Kitchen. Chicken Kitchen just sound good because they have like that big heavy rice bowl, but I've had it so many times like throughout my whole life and I've never tried Mr. Earl, so. Okay, this is the menu. Pretty small menu, honestly. Um, oh, apple and brie. So I got a Cuban sandwich because you guys know I am half Cuban and I've had Cuban sandwiches all my life. So I feel like that's a good item to judge because I'm a pro with that. By the way, guys, um, I forgot to mention that this is a budget Disney hotel, but in the future, I really want to stay at all of them. Like, I want to have like a whole Disney resort series. So even if they're pricey, I'm going to pay those prices. Here's my Earl of Sandwich Cuban sandwich. It looks like a Chipotle burrito, but it's not. <laughs> I kind of wish it was. It feels kind of light, kind of dainty. Okay, it's not a bad size. Look, this is it. This is definitely not Cuban bread, but it still looks good. I love Cuban bread so much. Let's see. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. By the way, I kind of love this farm life for me. It's delicious. Other than the bread, it tastes really authentic. The mustard, the ham, the pickles, it is giving. Mm, it's fine. This is not a collaboration, girly. Sorry. Even though the bread isn't like Cuban bread, it's really soft and it tastes freshly baked. Like, it's really good. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Very strong. Wow. I just finished the Earl of the sandwich. I'm so full. It was a lot heavier than I looked. By the way, guys, look. Disney. Zaddy Mickey. Uncle Zonald. Minnie is eating every single crumb and polka dot. Guys, I'm like watching really fast because I just saw a bumblebee riding a dragonfly. <laughs> She's like, we're close to Disney. This must be a ride. It's a roller coaster. Bees terrify me. I have never been stung. I don't plan on it. And dragonflies terrify me too. I think like last month, one of them literally just flew straight into my head and just bumped into me. I just think that they should mind their business and they shouldn't be doing things like that. So I am officially in Orlando. The drive wasn't that bad. I listened to some podcasts and it was great. But um, basically I can't check in for like another 30 minutes. There's no entrance to Disney Springs this way. Okay, where is Second it? Second floor, middle of the garage, through security screen. Okay, thank you. So um, what I was saying was I can't check in for another 30 minutes and I have to pee so bad. So I literally stopped at Disney Springs, which is like basically, if you haven't been here, it's like a big outside mall that like Disney owns. They have restaurants, tons of stores, a movie theater, and it's free to come here. So I was like, let me just keep with the Disney vibe and make a stop there really quick. But I didn't think about the fact that I like have to go through security and all that just to pee. I should have just stopped at McDonald's. <laughs> this is the whole process of what did I get myself into? I don't know, girl. Well, that was easy. I just had to literally walk through like one scanner and that was it. Let me go find the loo. <laughs> so this is Disney Springs. We can explore it a different day, but I feel so much better. Guys, I'm in Disney and I came here by myself. I'm shookest. Do I look like a, like a Disney vlogger? I feel like I do. Okay guys, so I just got a notification saying that my room is ready. I have my room number. I am um, on the second floor of the 80s theme building, whatever that means. And it's in the wide world of sports resort area. They put me in the sports area? Sports? I wanted the princess area. I wanted the castle. Am I gonna sleep in a football? I'm grateful. Let's see what it looks like. And apparently I can use my magic band as a key. This is my brand new magic band. And it's Miss Marvel themed guys. You guys know Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel are my favorite superheroes ever. Let's put it on. Oh my gosh, this is a moment. Okay. Yay. Period. Oh, it matches my nails. I love it. Okay, we are two minutes away. The weather's nice and overcast. I'm loving this vibe. Why am I nervous? I always get nervous before like a big thing happens, like staying in a Disney resort. Even though it is gonna be like any other basic hotel, it isn't luxury. I'm still very hyped. And maybe it will be luxury and it will exceed my expectations. We don't know. There's a Disney bus right in front of me. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, another amazing thing about um, staying at the resorts is the transportation. You can take the bus to um, the park. Sometimes there's like other modes of um, transportation too, like the little, um, what's that thing called? This bus is really slow. Wow. Okay, come on, Mickey. Um, it's, it's almost like a tram. In half a mile, turn left onto Century Drive. I know. Well, actually, I don't know, but thank you for telling me. Yeah, so, um, some of the resorts can, can take you via, like, tram. It's like a little hanging string thingy. <laughs> you don't swing from park to park, but you know what I mean. And so that's a really good perk, like, Tomorrow, I am gonna take the buses to Magic Kingdom for sure because that's just gonna make my day so much easier. I can leave my car parked at the, at the light. resort. Use the it. left two lanes to turn onto Century Drive. She keeps interrupting. Oh, I see the Pop Century Resort. Oh my God. <gasps> ah, the sign. Wow. Okay, we are officially in the resort. Oh my goodness. In half <gasps> the little tram, like gondola type things, just went over me. Oh my goodness, it's that Disney magic, guys. There's nothing like it, oh my god. How do I, oh, guest? Guest returning? No, I have to go through this way, girl. Okay, please present photo identification, okay? Ooh, this is legit, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Huh? Checking in or returning? Uh, checking in. Okay, what's your last name? Um. Alvarez. And I need an ID. Yes, right here. Fantastic. Thank you very awesome. much. You have a groovy day. Thank you. That made me nervous and my stutter acted up, but it's fine. It's fine. Turn oh. right, then arrive at your destination. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're turning in. <gasps> wow, I can't wait to show you guys Arrive all this. At Disney's Pop check Century in parking. Resort. Okay, so check in parking's this way, okay. Arrived. This is so cool looking. Wow. Ooh, it's packed, guys. There's so many cars. Wowie, wowie, wow. Okay, so and instead of going straight to my room, um, I'm just gonna first ask about parking because this is called check-in parking. I don't know what that means really, to be honest. Okay, so look at that huge sign. Pop Century Resort. And then we have a bunch of different like eras. 1990, 1980. This is very long division. I love that. And there's some of the bus stops. They're taking off right now, probably going to Cinderella's castle, you know, somewhere magical for sure. So I think that like the front desk area might be through here. So I'm just gonna go in and see what it's like. So this is what it looks like inside. Wow, very nice. A lot fancier than I thought. Okay, so the lobby was so cute. Um, I talked to this really, really, really nice girl and um, I didn't stutter at all, which was like a relief because when I have like a stuttering moment, my anxious mind um, starts to think like, okay, I'm just gonna stutter every time I talk now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like irrational. Um, but I slayed it and I spoke perfectly. And basically she told me that parking's free. So we love that. Um, and it used to cost money, but it doesn't now. And I basically just have to move over one parking lot next to my building which is building nine and that's it and the lobby was gorgeous now i'm gonna explore every inch of this place the day after tomorrow that is gonna be my full resort day the food everything so for right now i am just gonna explore the actual room and show you guys how it looks and everything i'm so hyped the lobby was so much nicer than i expected i expected like a really budget type thing but to be honest it looked like a lobby that was worth 160 dollars a night it did so i am totally happy with that okay so this building is literally a massive cell phone it's giving kim possible that is building eight and i'm building nine. Oh, this is my building building nine you see the nine there so my building has a giant Rubik's cube, okay. Are they saying only smart people can stay here? Cause I'm overqualified. I don't know why, but it's kind of giving Nickelodeon. That's just the vibe here. Ooh, I just got a whiff of something nasty. I don't know what that was, but it was sour <laughs> and sweaty. Oh, so this is the staircase. Okay, so we are in the Rubik's cube. That's fun. Totally awesome, psych. Okay. To the max radical. Who wrote those? Nikki, who'd you hire? It's quite a long journey to get to my room. Like this place is huge and it's really hot. So the fact that it's so big and it's outside, uh, I'm not loving that per se, you know, because most hotels that are at this price point have like in inside hallways where you're not like dehydrating, you know? I think we're almost there, I hope. Okay, I think that we are all the way down here, finally. Oh, 
And I have to go back and bring all my bags inside because I was like, I'm not carrying all that when I'm, you know, doing my first impression of the room. 56, 58, 59 should be next. Oh my God. This should be me. <gasps> Let's see if my magic band works. <gasps> it did. Oh my God, that's so easy. <gasps> and it opened easily. That's a first for me. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Welcome, Alvarez family. It's just me, girl, okay? Don't make a big deal about it. Let's turn a light on. I'm, I'm not ungrateful. Are there more lights? Let me just say, the AC is real good. I can feel it already. Let me put it lower. Oh, yeah. So this is it. It's not bad, per se, but just first impressions. $160 a night, and that's with the discount. It does feel a little overpriced for this, especially just because this looks really cheap to me, like extremely. It almost looks like it's like falling apart, right? Like, I don't know why it looks like that. And also like the table is like against it. So I'm just confused as to how this opens if there's a table next to it and what's in here. I don't know. Oh, is it a second bed maybe? Possibly? They really thought that the Alvarez family was me, my wife, and my 10 kids, you know? The bed looks very clean, very nice, simple. Um, let me turn on this light. It's just so dark in here, you know? Okay, that's a bit better for sure. Very cute Mickey's. We have a little cafe con leche machine. I'm not going to use that, of course. We have a lot of cups, which is very nice. Love that. Um, an ice bucket. The AC thing's right there. A very nice little fridge. I think that Marriott had the same fridge. It was like um, see-through and it just makes it look a bit fancier. I love that. Very nice. Okay. This light is serving sun, science, educational. We love it. Two trash cans for my massive family. A bunch of USB ports and um, plugs. What's it called? Plug, plug ports? Whatever. And what's in here? Ooh, a safe. Very nice. All my valuables. A drawer here. I don't see any Last of Us mold yet, so that's good. We have a phone, little cubby hole. Um, the floors also feel kind of budget to me, like they just don't feel homey. It all feels extremely wooden. Maybe they were trying to serve Pinocchio, I get it. Um, the bathroom door slides, so that's kind of fun. Cute. And this is the bathroom. Okay, that's very nice. The bathroom looks a lot fancier than the actual bedroom. And I'm kind of giving. Oh, we have a little closet right here. I don't know why it's opened. It's like it's asking me to just jump right back in and I'm not going to do it. Some more cubby holes here, here, here. How much storage do people need on a vacation? I don't know. Anything in here? Oh, a blow dryer and an iron. We have this cute little mirror. Hi. So this thing is constantly making noise. Even when the light's off. So I don't know if it wants attention, but it's definitely getting it. Okay, so the actual toilet room is a lot less cute than the sink room, right? And then this is the tub slash shower. Oh, it has one of the rainfall ones. I love those. That's good. There's a little bit of crustification right there, uh, which I wouldn't expect to see at a Disney resort. But, you know, I have a lot of that at home, too, and I'm used to that phone guy, even though it grosses me out. And then we have some H2O shampoo, conditioner, and a body wash. Okay, okay, okay. I also wish that the window was bigger. This is absolutely tiny and it's barely bringing any light into the room. And it looks right out like onto the outside hallway so people can just pass by and see you if you want sunlight in your room, which is not cute. So am I disappointed? Not really, to be honest. I, I kept my expectations low, but I did have this like glimmer like of hope just thinking like maybe it's better than I think it will be. And it's just not. If this place was 80 bucks a night, I would be fine with it. But the fact that it's 200 without the discount, it's just, it doesn't match the price. But like I said, there's a lot of transportation options to Disney. So that's a plus. We haven't even checked out the amenities yet or like the Disney store or the food itself, which is the main focus of this video. So all that stuff might absolutely slay us and it might make it worth the price. And we have three days here. So I'm going to really get an in-depth review girl. I will say that these lights are very fancy. I love that. It goes all the way around so it lights you perfectly. Okay, I need to see what this is. I think it's a bed, but I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna try to figure it out without googling anything. There's like a bunch of hinges here. Something's in there. 
Hello? I'm gonna get you out of there, I promise. Are there instructions anywhere? If there's nothing in here, this whole design is just weird. I'm sorry. I give up. I give up. Okay, I googled it and I saw a Disney mom on YouTube do it by herself. So she literally just pulled this down. So let's see. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh, it's so, so heavy. Oh my gosh. How did she do it? Okay, okay. Okay, oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh. oh my god. What a feature. That's iconic. Okay. <laughs> the resort just got an extra point because this is just really cool. And if you're bringing extra people, it's just perfect. Or like if you have a big family, you know, and the Alvarez family is quite large. Now let's try to put it back too. Okay. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Guys, I really don't know what it is, but something near that Rubik's Cube smells so bad and I can't handle it. Every time I'm like, oh. Okay, so I am out again because um, I had to charge my car. I'm eating at this place called PCG Artisanal Burgers and I'm getting a like really fancy hot dog with fries. And I'm not gonna make this a whole big taste test moment because I do just wanna get to the resort food finally. <laughs> but I am gonna do just like a little quick taste test of the hot dog, just like a one minute thing. Okay, so this looks amazing. It is called a Hendrix hot dog. It has grilled onions, like a, like tons of them, and mustard. And then I got fries and a little thing of ketchup. Let's first try the fries. Mm. They taste like McDonald's fries, but like more real. Salty. Oh my god. Amazing fries. And now let's try the hot dog. I'm nervous. This thing's huge. It's so heavy. Oh. oh my god. That's amazing. The onions have so much flavor. The mustard is amazing. The actual hot dog itself is so beefy and delicious. This is a very quick chase test, but everything is a 10 out of 10. Wow. I just got home. <laughs> I'm all fogged up like always, but I wanted to show you guys what the resort looks like at night. When I stayed at the Guitar Hotel, I totally forgot to show you guys like the outside and that was such like a gorgeous light display and I felt so bad about it. So these are just some of the buildings. The Rubik's Cube is lit up, girls. It's giving genius, but with lights. And yes, the Rubik's Cube still stinks. We should call it Stink a Cube. <laughs> also, I'm realizing that like, you're supposed to use your magic band for everything here, like the room key and even getting back into the resort, like the gate, you have to scan your magic band to open the gate. And I forgot mine and I was like, excuse me, guard, sir. I forgot my magic band, I feel so stupid. And he was like, that's okay. What's your name? I'll buzz you in. And he was kind of a zaddy. Anyways, I just realized I don't have my magic band to open up my door, but I think I can also use the app. So let's see if that works. Okay, my phone totally worked. That was so cool. It was like, unlock door. And I was like, beep. And it unlocked the door. I am really loving the techie robot aspects of all of this. I think that it really does kind of plus the hotel a bit. Even if it's basic, it just makes it feel a little more... I have a robot key. Okay guys, let's test out the shower. I have to do this. Okay, and then do that. Okay. Oh, it's already coming out there. Oh my gosh, okay. Calm down. Oh yeah, so it can come from there or here. Okay, I will let you guys know how it is. Guys, that shower ate. Eight! That like waterfall thing, every time it just slays me. Like at the guitar place, it slayed me. Here, it slayed me. Even though this was a pretty small like bathtub shower, the water pressure, heat, everything was absolutely perfect. The soap smelled like grass, which was actually quite nice. I didn't think I would like grass soap, but here I am. The shower is a solid 8.5 out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't within a bathtub, but I loved it very strong shower. Okay, so I am gonna go to bed soon and let me just say, this bed is extremely comfortable, like extremely. It feels super clean, super fresh. The mattress feels perfect, just like not, not too soft, not springy, just like a good mattress. The pillows are perfect too. They're not mushy and they're not too firm. They're just like really nice. Guys, I think that this hotel might be growing on me a little bit. Like, 
My initial reaction was honestly kind of disappointed just because it looked so basic, but the shower was great. Um, the bed so far is great. Oh, and the AC is honestly, I think the best hotel AC I've ever like been in. <laughs> like I have never been in such cold air. It might not be the most glamorous place, but it has its pros. So let's see how the food is. So yeah, I will see you guys in two days when it's time to first. <laughs> Is the bed okay? I'm sorry about that. It's two days later, and today is the day that I'm going to eat Disney Pop Century Resorts food for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, possibly a snack for sure desserts, girly. It is 9 a.m. and I literally just woke up, so don't don't mind how I look. I look crustified, dehydrated, almost like a raisin. And today is also exploration day. I'm gonna explore the whole resort. Now I have to say, this room has grown on me so much. Literally everything's great, it's just not glam. So I truly would give the room as a whole, I think honestly a nice 8.5 out of 10. Yesterday I took the bus four times. Um, I went back and forth to Magic Kingdom twice and it made everything so much easier. There are buses coming here all the time to pick people up. I barely had to wait at all. And even at the parks, I didn't have to wait once. Every time that I left, the park, there was a Pop Century bus waiting for me basically and I just hopped on. So that in itself really makes the price feel more worth it. Also, they have the little um, tram type things and hopefully they will let me ride it today even though I, I don't have passes to go anywhere. I'm just gonna be staying here. Anyways, let's focus on the food girlies. Like I said before, I don't think they have room service at all but they do have a restaurant and a pool bar. The pool bar is called Petals Pool Bar. And um, they have things like a turkey and provolone sandwich, a ham sandwich, a pretzel, a Greek salad, ice cream, and like drinks. And that's basically it, okay? But then the main restaurant called the Everything Pop Shopping and Dining has a pretty large menu. For breakfast, they have a waffle bounty platter, pancake platter, ham and cheese omelet, loaded tacho bowl. <laughs> You guys know I can't pass up a loaded, a loaded tot or a loaded fry, a loaded anything like that. A loaded tot. Uh. I am probably getting that already. Like I just already know. Western omelet, Mickey shaped waffles, vanilla pancakes, and then a couple breakfast sandwiches, a a plant based Mickey frittata, oatmeal, a bunch of little sides. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god. Is my lens fogging up? Whatever. Oh, it smells here too. I'm in like a whole different area, it stinks. I'm like trying to find the main building. Okay, I'm a little lost. I guess the exploring starts now, cause guys, look. There's this lady dancing. There's this huge bike. Like that's so big, guys, look. Can you compare my, my big head to it? There's this whole massive foosball table. Can you use it? Like, does it work? If it doesn't, what is the reason? Oh, look at Mickey, there's a huge Mickey right there. So cute. Some of the buildings have a Mickey, mine has a Rubik's cube, but I'm not complaining. It's been great, like I said. Okay, so this is one of the pools. What is this shape? I think it's a flower. Yeah, it's a big flower. It has little like spraying flower type things, which is really cute, very fun. There's the loo. There's a random Play-Doh statue. It's just very random, but I kind of like that about it, you know? You don't know what's around the corner. Is it gonna be Baloo or like a statue of like Miranda Cosgrove for my Carly? Like, we don't know. Okay, so this is the restaurant, girlies. <gasps> this is the breakfast area. Very nice. Some waters. Oh, a lot of different things here. Little salads, if you want to be dainty, not today, queen. Some little sandwiches, a pickle, hard boiled eggs. Wow, they have a lot of like necessities. Even milk. Okay. Fruit. Overnight oats, guys, I love overnight oats. That is such a nice option to have because it is very filling and it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Key lime pies, hello. Thai dye cheesecake. Oh my God, these cakes. So pretty, those look so delicious. Just like that, that shape and the shininess make it look so appetizing. Celebration cupcake. Oh, this is so magical, I love it. Seasonal plant-based cupcake. Paco's banana cupcake, so cute. Muffins, coffee cake, apple danish, croissant, cinnamon rolls, donuts, more cookie. Oh my goodness. There's also some cereal options if you're into that. And some ice cream options, like a Mickey ice cream sandwich, Mickey ice cream bar. 
guys I just got this like feeling in my belly I like feel like a legit Disney vlogger right now and it's making me so happy like for real I'm gonna order my food now I'm ready good morning I'm good uh, can I get the um, loaded tacho bowl oh yeah all of it yeah thank you so much you too I got my tattoo bowl. It looks amazing. Oh my goodness. And I am gonna get a cherry danish right now. Got my cherry danish. Okay. Guys, this is some pretty good lighting here. I think the fact that they have that big like grocery store basically is so helpful for especially families or just anyone that wants a snack or milk, like whatever you want, you know? Anyways, this looks amazing. Let's try it. I'm gonna get everything in one bite. Oh my god. It has cheese, scrambled eggs, Bacon, country gravy, and green onions. Okay. Oh my god. This is fun. Awesome. This is big. It's heavy. It was ten ninety nine. It's worth it, girl. Wow. Mm, the gravy. Oh my god. I'm trying not to cause a scene. Oh my goodness. It feels like it's too much food. Like, I don't know if I can finish that. It's very heavy. The tots taste like classic tots. They're really crispy and salty and fantastic. The bacon bits aren't like your typical bacon bits where they taste kind of fake or cold or like rubbery. No, this is for sure fresh, fresh bacon that's been crumbled. It's so crispy. It has so much flavor. The country gravy is fantastic. Tastes classic, like any good country gravy should. <laughs> I'm rhyming. Call me Timmy Seuss. Cheese tastes great. Green onions taste great. The one flaw in this meal is just the scrambled eggs. They taste like powdered eggs. You know, like really cheap scrambled eggs. That's the only flaw. Everything else here is legitimately fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm eating it so fast. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna give this bowl an 8.5 out of 10. It, it would have been a 10 if the eggs tasted fresh, you know? But they don't. I like my eggs fresh out of the chicken coop. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just want real eggs, you know? But I'm still loving this so much. By the way, I'm a little paranoid that I'm gonna go back to my room and someone's gonna be cleaning it, like mid-clean. <laughs> because they clean rooms here every other day right and it is now the other day it, <laughs> it's it's been two days since i got here and there was no little sign to put on the on the door like i couldn't find it in the room anywhere so we'll see what happens last night's meal at the br guest bell place was legitimately I think one of the best meals of of my life and also one of the best experiences of my life i'm like i'm not joking even though i was by myself i had you guys and it somehow made it even more magical i felt like a independent queen on her own jet setting you know the waiter was so nice and he gave me an extra dessert because of my vlog with a candle in it because breakfast is so heavy i might have a light lunch I always thought that Disney food, even as a Disney stand, was kind of trashy because I always aimed for the burgers, the chicken tendies, all that type of stuff. And honestly, their versions of those items are just very mediocre. But if you get more like fun things like this, Disney can slay it too. They just have to get a little creative with it. Okay, so now it's time to try the cherry Danish. I'm so full, guys. But we're so happy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, it's dripping. That's, cool. That's interesting, okay. I didn't get any cherries yet. It's filled with air. It's like a balloon. It has almost like layers, like a cinnamon roll. That's interesting. Let's try the cherry filling. Oh. <laughs> So the cherry center was absolutely amazing. It really tastes like a full-on cherry pie. It has that slight tartness, the sweetness, but it's not too sweet. The cherries have such a nice, almost fresh texture to them, but they're of course kind of soft. So the filling is fantastic. 
Now, I don't really like the crust, to be honest. I think that it's just not your typical Danish crust. It's more of like a cinnamon roll without the cinnamon and like butteriness. You know what I mean? So it just kind of tastes like bread. Usually Danishes could be more flaky, more like a guava. I mean, Starbucks cheese Danish is iconic. It's almost kind of salty, love that so much. This is basically just bread with icing and an amazing cherry filling. So the filling is a 10 out of 10, but overall, I'm gonna have to give it 4.5. That bread really brought it down, and I don't even wanna finish it. Not because I'm full. Being full never stopped me from eating it a lot more. <laughs> but, you know, it's just not it. But the bowl was amazing, so breakfast is done. I'm gonna go back to my room. I'm gonna get ready for the day, take a shower, all that stuff and then we can explore the whole resort before lunch. It'll give me a lot of time to digest everything. So if I look like I'm crying, I'm not. I just put in my prescription eye drops. So uh, they make my eyes water and they make like a, kind of like a boogery film on the, <laughs> on the outside of my eyes. So if you see any, any kind of eye boogers, it's just my eye drops. I'm sorry about it. I'm ready for the day. I have a little swimsuit on just in case if I go in the pool. I took a shower, I feel fresh, I put on sunscreen, and I realized that this little patch right here got a little bit sunburned because of the hole in my hat. I forgot to put sunscreen in that spot, so we have a little sunburn just right there, but it's fine. Otherwise, I didn't get burnt at all, guys. I slayed it. So let's open up the app and see exactly what amenities they have. I think it might just be pools and transportation, but let's just make sure. Oh, and the store, of course. Okay, so there's the restaurants, of course. We talked about that. Recreation. It just says pools. There seems to be three pools. There's a a uh, bowling pin shaped pool, the flower shaped pool, which I saw, and just a square pool. Okay, and then shopping, we have the everything pop shopping and dining store, spas, no spas, tours, no tours, entertainment, no entertainment, events, no events. Okay, so yeah, it is literally just pools, transportation, and the store, which is fine, it's fine. Cindy, Ariel, Tiana, let's go girls. So let's first go to the Disney store. I wanna see all the merch. Yeah, so this resort really just has so many areas to it. It's actually kind of ridiculous. There's a lot of greenery, if you like that, and a lot of like little signs. That's very theme parky, love it. Someone just pointed at me. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to tell you. Last night, the most magical thing happened. It was the perfect ending to such a fun day. The moment that I got off the bus, is this focused? Sort of. Anyways, the moment that I got off the bus and I got back to the resort, I heard someone scream. And I turn around and I see this girl like basically running towards me. And she was like, I love your video so much or something like that. And she was just so sweet. I took a bunch of pictures with her and it was just the sweetest interaction. If you're watching this queen, I'm so sorry. I forgot your name, but you were so sweet and I loved all of your sisters and everything. You guys were all queens. So thank you for making my day. This is another area. We have some like mood rings. That's interesting. I do not know what that's supposed to be. And then we have a big yo-yo. It doesn't look very yo-yo-y, to be honest. It could have looked a little more yo-yo-y, right? 90, 80, 70. Oh, I just got it. Pop Century. So it was based on the centuries. I mean, like, I like knew that it was based on the centuries, but I didn't put two and two together. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the food area. I'm just making my way towards the store, which is basically in the same building. I think that they're serving lunch now, but I I'm gonna wait a little longer because I'm still kind of full, guys. <laughs> this is how it looks. Very cute, right? Very nice. We have a lot of little um, Mickey ears. <gasps> Here's the Captain Marvel ones. So fun fact, I bought these like I think a year ago and I lost them like the day after I got them. So I was never able to wear them, but I'm not gonna buy it again. That's just, I feel like I'm wasting money, you know? Now these dolls are super cute, so these are like Disney bounders. So a Disney bounder is a person basically that, that cosplays when they go to the parks, right? But in the parks, adults aren't allowed to wear costumes because people could mistake them for the characters, right? And so people just make outfits inspired by the characters and it's called Disney bounding. And so these dolls are just basically inspired by the characters. Like that's Snow White. 
in like a modern outfit. That's, who's that supposed to be? Aurora? No, Jasmine. That's, um, that's a Jasmine stan, okay? That's a Belle stan. Isn't that cute? I love that whole concept. Honestly though, Aladdin is serving Aladdin. Like that is just Aladdin in modern clothing. A Tiana stan, so cute. I love all these. And then of course we have the classic girlies. Alice with her big head clean. Tinkerbell is adorable. Oh my gosh. Guys, I stopped collecting dolls because my collection just got too big and too overwhelming. So now I only collect Captain Marvel stuff, Miss Marvel stuff, and Monica Rambeau stuff. The Marvels, the three girlies. So that is my whole collection now. I have never ever worn a bucket hat. Let me try it. My hat's too big. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at myself right now. <laughs> okay, um, sometimes Destiny just doesn't want you to wear a certain hat and it did not want me to wear that girl. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at all this like metallic stuff for the 100 year anniversary. So cute. Part of me like wants to buy like Mickey Mouse themed stuff and stuff like that and I've never been that girl. But I can feel myself like gravitating towards those things. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm becoming like a real Disney person. Some plates and bowls and stuff. So cute. He's giving home. Oh, love it. Just gave me the chills. I was kidding, it didn't, but it should have. We have some gourmet popcorn, some little treats. Huh? A lot of different candies. Look at these candy bars. So cute. I don't know why, but like the packaging makes it look so much more appetizing. Very Willy Wonka when he unwraps the chocolate. You know what I mean? Oh, love that. Delicious moment. You know what? A Diet Coke sounds so good right now. I might get one. Oh my gosh, look at these gorgeous magic pans. Wow. They're like fancy ones. I want one like this. Ew. This is so pretty. I love this one. Oh, it's Magic Band Plus. What does the plus do? I have to look into that. There's a Guardians one. This Black Panther one is stunning, wow. Magic Man Plus, char you have to charge it. Mm, now I kinda don't wanna buy it, cause I'm like, I don't wanna have to charge my Magic Band. I'm gonna Google what the Magic Band Plus does. I'm just curious. Okay, so the Magic Band Plus basically is rechargeable, which makes the battery lasts longer like over time and you can interact with new features in the park so let's say you can make something light up maybe by like scanning it you have that plus but that's basically all it does i think at least that's what google said do i care about interacting with things that much and also having to worry about recharging it mm, maybe in the future once i'm a more established disney content creator here's some very cute pins anything captain marvel miss marvel anything Iron Man, those are so cute. I wish they had like a Captain Marvel in that style. That'll be oh, they do. Oh my god, there's Carol. Oh my god, that's beautiful. How much is it? Pink, pink. How much is pink? $15. Okay, I do want to buy like a souvenir on this trip just to like remember my first Disney trip on my own. So I think I'm gonna get it. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just bought it. Um, the cast member was literally so nice and um, she was like, do you have an annual pass? And I was like, yes. Um, and I have heard that annual passers get like discounts, but I haven't thought of using it really during this whole trip. And she was like, um, show me your like little barcode thing. And I did. And it took $3 off. So the $15 pin was only $12, which is kind of iconic. This is my impression of Sarah Paulson if she was a Disney content creator. Ah, Mickey. Oh my God. Okay, so now I am going to look for the Skyliner. It's a little tram thing. I'm gonna try to take it somewhere and just see what happens. And then I'll just come right back. <laughs> so currently the Skyliner can take you to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and I think a bunch of different resorts, but I think that's it. It doesn't take you to Magic Kingdom yet and it doesn't take you to Animal Kingdom yet. I just realized I forgot to buy that Diet Coke and now I'm so thirsty. Oh my goodness. Look guys, another yo-yo. <gasps> I see the Skyliner, do you see it? Way in the distance. Look at the pretty water, guys. Isn't that stunning? I don't know if they're gonna let me on to the Skyliner because I don't have any reservations for any parks, but let's just see. I'm gonna try. If they ask, I'm gonna be like, oh, um, I was just gonna take a ride. <laughs> it's just my dream to fly like Peter Pan. Can you help me achieve that? Okay, so it says, now boarding to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh, wow, okay. So I guess we are going to another resort. Now I am not gonna explore it because in the future I wanna stay at every Disney resort and I don't wanna spoil that one, you know what I mean? But I'll just take a quick glance, right? Hello, how are you? I think I'm just supposed to hop on one. Yeah, party one. 
Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Guys, I have my own. Oh, oh, Haunted Mansion. Look how cool. Now, I don't feel any AC, but I think that as we go, um, there's going to be a nice breeze because there's these like windows that are cracked open right here. It's fast. It's fast, girl. I haven't been on this in years, and when I went on it, it had just opened. Oh, this is so relaxing. Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Epcot International Gateway. So beautiful. So I'm just I'm gonna go to the resort and then come back, obviously, we are because now gliding over. It helps a lot. Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on earth. I'm trying to. <laughs> this is such a nice way to get from like park to park. It's nice and breezy. It's so calming. It's so quiet and it's very smooth. Besides when it goes past these like these these things, ooh, it gets kind of loud and like bumpy there, but it's not a big deal. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at Disney's Caribbean oh, Beach Resort. That was quick. All cabin, please supervise children. Ah. Belongings and ooh, that, that drop though. Oh, look at that spinning thingy. That's cool. I love that Disney lets you visit the other resorts while you're here. That is so nice. Thank you so much. Anyways, this is gorgeous. So this is sort of like a whole skyline or station. There's directions here, a clock, like it's a train station type thing. And it goes in all different directions. That is so cool. How do I get out of here? Where's the exit? So it's uh, right down the ramp just past the oh, yes. Yes. There's an arrow. Thank you. I just saw it now. <laughs> okay, so that's the Caribbean Beach Resort right there. Beautiful. I love the blue color. What an adventure. <laughs> okay, I don't want to trip and break my camera. There's a coffee shop literally right here and they have Diet Coke. So I'm going to get some right now. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, can I just get a Diet Coke? And that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a quick peek at this resort. Let me look both ways. Make sure no one's coming, okay. So this is it. This is the Jamaica section. This looks a little fancier than mine. I wanna stay here too. Guys, I am so hyped to stay at every single Disney resort. Like, I'm gonna make it like a whole series if you guys like it. So let me know, please. What a beautiful view behind me. Look at that. Paradise. I love like the construction. It's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, they have an actual beach, but it's like I'm blocked off, but still, look how pretty. You can just like relax on the hammocks. I love it. There is nothing like Disney. Just like every resort feels different. Everything's very connected. Everything's easy with the magic bands. Like it's just iconic. What is that? It looks like a pirate themed something. I think it's one of the pools maybe. Anyways. That's enough. That's enough. I'm going to go back on the Skyliner. I came here to test it out and that was it. I'm not spoiling any more of this property. We're saving it for another trip. I'm literally dripping sweat. Oh my God. <sighs> Woo, we're back on. We're about to take off. Oh my god, I love this, guys. This has been the most magical trip. I want to come back already. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner and Disney's Caribbean Beach. Disney There's the Pops art of animation, resort. guys. I have to stay there too. Look at that big aerial. It's so pretty. And there's our pop century. I'm gonna miss it, guys. I think we got stuck. Wait, am I moving? I can't tell. They are. Am I? I think very slowly. Okay, we're back. And I think all I have left at the resort is just to test out one of the pools. I'm assuming all the pools are the same. They're just different shapes, right? So I'm just gonna go to the nearest one and take a little dip. It'll feel very nice because it's extremely hot. Guys, I feel extremely bloated from those tots in the morning. Feeling a little insecure today. <laughs> I think the whole pool might be three feet deep. I didn't realize that, okay. There's a lot of people, so I'm just trying to film me, <laughs> and it's kind of hard. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. Girl. <laughs> 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 
now that I'm totally in, it literally feels amazing. This pool is so good. It is extremely shallow. <laughs> and the other pools might be deeper. I'm assuming that they are. Maybe like the bowling one is like six feet. Who knows? But this is really, really nice. Let me take another little dip moment situation. <laughs> You guys know I can't open my eyes underwater because of my dry eye, but um, it's still fun. Do I have any boogies? Oh my god. So that pool obviously is like a family pool. It's like super shallow and all that stuff. Oh, a lizard just ran by and screwed me. <laughs> but it was great. Like the water was so clean, fresh, perfect temperature. I'm gonna give the pool like a nine out of 10. I, th I think it's fantastic. Overall, I'm really loving this hotel. I still have two meals to go. I'm gonna get out of the heat and I'll get lunch soon. I'm still not hungry. It's like past 12 guys. I'm still really full from that potato thing. So maybe around one, I'll come and get lunch and then I'll probably have like dinner at like nighttime because I'm gonna have to process this heaviness plus another meal. <laughs> it's a lot, girl. Okay guys, so it's like 1.30. Oh, what is this string? Oh my God. Oh. Um, I'm back in my comfy clothes. <laughs> it is lunchtime, but I'm still really not hungry, but I'm gonna try something else because that's the whole point of this video. But I've learned my lesson about having a super heavy breakfast on a 24 hour challenge type day. Okay, so I won't do that again, I promise. They have a slice of pepperoni pizza, slice of cheese pizza, meatball sub, baked macaroni and cheese topped with barbecue beef. <laughs> that sounds really good, but heavy too. Penne pasta with meatballs, chicken parmesan pasta, barbecue braised beef, wow. Mojo roasted chicken, panko crusted salmon, garlic herb shrimp, mashed potatoes, brown rice and black beans. They have a lot of stuff here, guys. I'm kind of shook it. Sesame chicken stir fry, impossible meatloaf. I'm sorry, I'm only looking for possible meat. That's a, a Cuban burger. <laughs> I am not hungry enough to try that, but it sounds amazing. And, and I am half Cuban, so half of me really wants it. Bacon cheddar cheeseburger, cheddar cheeseburger, Korean style, impossible cheeseburger. Grilled chicken sandwich, chicken strips, Honey barbecue pork sandwich, chili cheese, all beef, foot long hot dog. Wow. They have a lot of stuff for lunch. Amazing selections and it's very empty right now. I think I might just do a piece of pizza. I know that's really, really basic, but to me it sounds like the lightest option and you might be thinking, Tim, pizza's not light. But one slice is pretty light for me. When I eat, eat pizza, I eat a whole pizza. So yeah. That's what I'm doing. Light lunch, dainty. Okay guys, so this is my dainty slice of pizza. Oh. <laughs> like a whole quarter of a pizza. It's big, I'm impressed. I asked if I could get like an annual pass discount and it, they don't have it at the food area, but it's totally fine. That was kind of embarrassing, but she was so nice about it. Um, I'm just using my phone right now. Like I'm in lazy mode at, at this moment, but tonight I'm gonna do a whole camera production. Also the lunch and dinner menus are like the same. So for dinner, I might try try that mac and cheese with the barbecue beef or some of the desserts, we'll see. Let's try this big pepperoni pizza. Mmm. Mmm, on camera. <laughs> Is that better? It's good. It's not amazing, but it's good trash pizza. It reminds me of like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. The bottom is extremely crispy, like extremely, which is really nice. The pepperonis are nice and chewy. I love that. They're very salty. The cheese is good. The marinara is quite refreshing. You know what? It kind of tastes like New York style pizza, but just like cheaper. Process. It's a processed New York pizza. That's the vibe here. I just dropped a piece of pepperoni out of my mouth. I'm like so full. Then my mouth is like, Timmy, stop it. I'm gonna go back to the room and relax for a bit. And I'll see you guys in a few hours. Another thing that I totally forgot to mention, I think that I mentioned it in my Magic Kingdom video, but I have to mention it here because this is the resort video. Typically, people at the resorts get a little bit of extra time um, in Disney World. For example, yesterday, the park opens for everyone at nine, but for resort guests, it opened at 8.30. So that is another plus to staying in one of these resorts. Okay, so I went out to charge my car for tomorrow because I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, Ooh, so cute. Um, and I realized I never really showed you guys like the main lobby that much, you know? So first of all, there's an arcade. It's basically empty, but it's huge. Look, Marvel. Miss Marvel. <laughs> this shirt is messed up, girl. Like it is falling apart. Oh my 
Okay, um, there's some like Captain Marvel little like layouts. I might do this. Let's do it. I have never done one of these. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> two, one, action. Three, two, one, action. Oh my god. Andrew, that's so cute. <laughs> This is my favorite, girl. Oh my gosh, look at me flying. This is going on my fridge forever. I love it. The lobby is so cute. They have just like a ton of like little knickknacks from the different ages of the world. That is so cute. <gasps> McDonald's, mmm. Love this lobby so much. So the good news is I am digesting finally. I am starting to get a little bit hungry. So I think that I'm gonna have dinner in the next couple hours and I'm gonna get a lot of food, girly. I'm getting dessert, I'm getting everything, so I'm ready. Okay, so this is my last meal at the Disney Resort and I'm actually so sad about it. Also, lunch was so anticlimactic that I'm like, now I'm actually hungry, hungry. I don't want just one entree, I want eight. Okay, okay, so I definitely want the baked mac and cheese with the barbecued beef for sure. They also have chili cheese fries, oh my God. Would that be too much food, do you think? Chili cheese fries plus mac and cheese and the beef? <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna get dessert afterwards. Okay guys, so I have my dinner here. We have the barbecue beef with the mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. It looks and smells legit incredible. I'm so hyped right now. And the chili cheese fries. Look how cute. Honestly, I don't think it's too much food. I think I got a good amount for a nice little finale to this two-part Disney series. I'm I'm legit gonna miss Disney so much like <laughs> I just want to live here now. That's a much better angle Yes, okay, so what should we try first? Let's try the mac and cheese with the barbecued beef Mmm, the beef we got the boots Mmm Mmm Okay, the mac and cheese does taste baked. It has a very light cheese flavor, but I'm enjoying it. Like, it doesn't have that strong sharpness that a lot of mac and cheeses typically have, but it has this really nice creaminess and amazing texture that is the perfect base for this really strong beef. Like, the beef has a lot of flavor, guys. It legit tastes slow roasted. It like melts in your mouth. It has a very authentic, smoky barbecue flavor. It could be a tiny bit sweeter and tangier because it's mostly smoky, you know what I mean? But still, delicious. And they go together so well because like I said, the mac and cheese is very simple and then the beef is very like, ooh, ow. I'm barbecue. This tastes like food truck food. And that's a big compliment. Food truck food is always nasty and greasy and delicious. Now let's try the chili cheese fries, okay? Woo, guys, I'm so excited. Mm. 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 Oh my god. This is my favorite meal of the day, by far. Mm. Mm. The fries are thin, salty, crispy. The chili tastes very like Americanized, but I love non-authentic American chili too. <laughs> you know what? It tastes almost exactly like Wendy's chili, but more real than Wendy's chili. It has tomatoes, beans, beef, that classic chili flavor, and the cheese is nice and salty too, nice and sharp. The green onions add a freshness. I have noticed that sometimes green onions can taste like actual garbage. Have you noticed that? Last week, I had some that just tasted like, like a literal trash can. These don't. Oh my God. I'm so happy with my choices, guys. Pop Century has some good food. I'm gonna give this barbecue beef bowl a strong 8.5. I'm giving the chili cheese fries a 10 out of 10. They're amazing. The beef reminds me a lot of brisket. And I love brisket. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go eat lunch at the world's largest McDonald's. I've never been there. It's in Orlando. That video is probably already up at this point, so you've probably already seen it. Did I like it? Let me know. <laughs> I'm so glad that I did this. I truly never would have thought I'd be doing this just a couple months ago. I did get too much food, guys. I'm not gonna be able to finish all this. This is a big portion. The portions at Pop Century eat. Breakfast was huge, dinner's huge, and it's all quick service prices. That's a good deal. I've been loving vlogging in public at Disney specifically because here I feel safe vlogging. But like when I filmed at like Whole Foods and Zaxby's and all these other places, 
I did feel like vulnerable just because there's like a lot of people and you don't know if someone's gonna get mad that you're filming like people get mad over nothing but at Disney I just feel safe I can totally be myself and just film because a lot of people film here a lot of people take pictures here hello it's Disney I don't want to stop eating but I'm getting so full I think that's all I can handle because I still want dessert let's go get it the options are tie-dye cheesecake <laughs> key lime pie a whole cake this cupcake this cupcake that cupcake I'm just not that into frosting guys and they all have a lot of frosting there's also some baked good stuff like the s'mores cookie oh my goodness and the Mickey shaped brownie, so cute. Flashback oatmeal cream pie, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know, there's too many choices. I can't, I can't choose, I can't, I'm not doing it. Okay, so I was like, this is my final item that I'm eating at Disney, it has to be iconic. So I got the tie-dye cheesecake. <laughs> this thing was $6, I better eat, I better slay. It smells like plastic, to be honest. Focus, look at that. All I know is tomorrow's gonna be quite colorful. Oh, it's, it's very thick. I expected more of a moussey consistency. This is extremely dense. Focus. Okay. Mmm. So on the bottom, there's like an actual red cake, I think. Mmm. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. So on the bottom, there's an actual like red velvet type of cake here. Focus. Thank you. And it really kind of cuts through all that heaviness from the cheesecake with a nice bouncy fluffy cake. It is delicious. It tastes like a nice cheap processed cheesecake, nothing fancy, but still it has that good classic cheesecake flavor and I just really love that it's half real cake, you know? So it's just not too much and too icky sweet. I'm gonna give this, I think, a nice 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. It wasn't amazing, but I enjoyed it. And I could kind of taste the food coloring in the background, but it's fine. Still loved it. And I ate it so fast. Wow. <laughs> the video's over, basically. You know what? I want to say goodbye in a very special way. It's not over yet, girlies. So I thought to myself, why not do your final thoughts on the Skyliner? So, ooh, I just want to say, when I first got to the Pop Century Resort, I, I was disappointed, but I was wrong. Because I was looking at the book's cover. Wait, what's it saying? Oh, I was looking at the book not the cut. I was looking at the cover of the book, not the inside of the book, right? Everything ate. The AC ate, the shower ate, the bed ate. The restaurant was so good. Like the food was fantastic and affordable. The transportation was incredible and it truly made my whole trip so much easier. So do I think that $200 is overpriced for a place like this? Visually, yes. But for the amenities and the transportation, no. I think that it's totally worth it. Could the room look a little more warm and comforting? Yes, but at the end of the day, what matters is I had an amazing vacation and this place made it so easy to do so. I had such a fun time and I will totally stay here again. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 overall. That is what I'm rating the Pop Century Resort. And this is like a nice breezy, like a sunsetty moment, guys. So I just wanna say, Thank you so much for watching this video and the Magic Kingdom one, hopefully. Hopefully you saw both. Please let me know if you want more, more of Disney content because I really want to make it. So give this view a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, just let me know, girl. And hopefully I will see you at Disney again. I love you so much. Bye, guys. Mwah. See you real